Oh great, I have a metronome. Come on, man. Alrighty, here we go. Hashtag house life. I am spread out on my sister's counter. It's, it's weird. There are a couple of advantages like being able to spread out and I just went on an excursion in the van and left all of my shit set up and I can't do that in the van. I have to secure everything so that it doesn't break or stop spinning or whatever. One of the funny things about the whole deal is I, is I still feel obligated to make the coffee on the solar power because that's free energy and even though Katie uh, isn't going to charge us for the energy that we're using while we're babysitting for her dog, uh, I still feel like I should use the um, that electricity every time I can. My computer's plugged in inside so that I don't have to move it out of convenience. And one of the other things that's funny is that uh, Brent from Concept gave me this mug and I'm using it to drink out of, but not because I like it better than my little metal tumbler, which is way better for van life because it fits in the... Um, in the cup holder and it's unbreakable. But uh, this just is like a thing I'm nostalgic for. Here, we'll do this. I just got a new thing. This is uh, Autel's Evo drone. I have crashed two drones in the last little bit. I need an old school analog key. Oh, here's a big ass knife. That's not a knife. Um, my DJI Mavic Pro 2. Uh, crashed into a rock wall, which I think it should not have done, given the way that it advertises its obstacle avoidance and whatnot. Um, but the way that they do their damage assessment and whatnot, it was going to potentially cost me $130 to not get my drone fixed. And I don't play that sort of fucking game. Oh, we're opening on the other side. Here we go. Unboxing. This is what people do on the internet, right? Who cares? This has a gold plug on it. I'm assuming it's the charger. This is either some sort of crazy sex toy or the remote. Oh, and there she is. She's the same orange as uh, Moss's car. I guess, especially since the bottom is orange, it'll make it easier actually probably to spot in different conditions while you're flying it. Here's that drone. I'm slipped a little condoms off. Ooh, everything's so secure. Why did I buy the Autel instead of another one of the DJI drones? One of the big selling points of the Evo is that it doesn't have geofencing. It will let you fly higher, further, and wherever you want to. And I don't fly high because I don't really see the purpose. I don't need to shoot the curvature of the earth. You know, we already have that photo from the 70s. Um, what I do want to be able to do is fly in low altitudes in places where I'm allowed to fly, but DJI's geofencing for some reason wouldn't. For example, a couple years ago, I was shooting this uh, apparel thing in Malibu and Obama was in town back when he was in president. And, you know, I was trying to fly and DJI wouldn't let me fly. I think that I was totally still completely legal. But again, basically I was using the shot as aerial shots for people and we were, we were showing the apparel. And so in that situation, I'm going to fly 20 feet off of the ground and, you know, I'm not going to interfere with any aircraft. I, the FAA is not going to get pissed off at me if I'm flying in Malibu 15 miles away from the close or 20 miles away from the closest airport when the president is in town if I'm only 30 feet off the ground. You know, I'm under a lot of other antennas and that sort of shit that's all over the place. Um, so while I don't intend to be a scofflaw with this drone, uh, I do like that it's not nannying me quite as much. So to be perfectly honest, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, don't fly illegally, but, and don't. But like, that's one of the things that influenced my purchase of this drone. The DJI drones grow, fly great, um, except for the fact that, that one of them smashed into, um, into a rock wall. The Phantom 4 that I had, I flew for three, three and a half years without ever crashing it. And, uh, you know, I just got reckless and I think the battery was old and it started on low voltage. I didn't check the battery before I took off, which is just a dumb rookie mistake that I made because I didn't care about the drone that much anymore. It fell into the Congaree River and I felt terrible about that. But even though it was December, I managed to hop in there and uh, fish it out. Okay, 
Yeah, I'll stop yakking and we'll open this. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Little dingle dangle. So like I said, this is, this is almost the exact design of the newer DJI Mavics. The obligatory, though we're in the 21st century and everything's on the internet, and this thing must require, basically, it doesn't require a smartphone, I don't think, to fly. But you wouldn't have one of these without access to the internet. But they still give you paper manuals for some fucking reason. I have no idea. I'm going to go plug this in the van, too, because um, if I have to wait an hour anyway, why well, use my sister's SoCal Edison or PG&E or whatever she's on? Goodbye. So the drone battery's charging, and I want to say something about brick-and-mortar stores. Um, you know, people, I hear people saying, oh, I don't want to go to the kiosk at the grocery store. I want to go to an actual cashier so that we don't obviate their jobs. And that, that comes from a very sweet place. I appreciate it. And I also hear people saying like, oh, go to your shop local and all of that. And that's one, one thing to the degree that you're buying something that was produced locally. But when you're buying technology that was almost certainly built in another country far, far away, it doesn't really do you any good to go to a store. You're gonna get it cheaper, you're gonna get it faster, and you're gonna get exactly what you want when you order it online. And I know that there's a bunch of hubbub right now about this Amazon monopoly that's emerging. And I think that it's a real thing, and I do think that there's a monopoly problem. There's a potential for problems in monopolies. But, check this out. The problem isn't that technology is obviating the cashier at Ralph's. And the problem isn't that internet technology is taking over brick and mortar stores. The problem is profit sharing. What's happening is these people's jobs are being obviated by technology. These stores are being obviated by technology. What's happening is it's allowing people at the very top of the food chain to rake in more and more and more money. That's what the industrial revolution did. That's what our capitalistic economy has been doing for years and years and years is allowing the people who can buy the new means of production to subsume all of the wages and wealth of the people below them. So what do we need? Bernie Sanders. And I'm not advocating for socialism. I believe in capitalism. I think that people who work hard should get more. But there should be a floor in, a, in the richest country in the history of the world. There should be a floor below which no one can fall. You ought to be clothed. You ought to be housed. You ought to have education and drugs and health care and food. We are rich enough to where we can take some of the cream off of the very, very top to make sure that nobody is suffering. And if we did that, the people whose jobs at Best Buy and Ralph's were obviated by Amazon and, and self-checkout kiosks, those people could spend time with their kids instead of worrying about what next, what job they're going to grovel at next, where they're going to drive over to go clean some rich people's floor. So anyway, <laughs> you know, I went to Best Buy and I bought this drone at Best Buy because they had this package where it came with two free batteries and like a $50 Best Buy gift card and some Shutterfly thing that I don't understand. Maybe I'll print something out and put it on the side of the van. A lot of times competition breeds inefficiency. But efficiency is Amazon, and inefficiency is Best Buy. So it just occurred to me that um, not only did I not show you the remote, it probably doesn't have a Tesla coil installed, and so it's probably going to need to be charged as well. Here's your little cutesy bunny rabbit again. It's like a little video game. Same old shit, you know. Okay, so all in all, this thing seems to work pretty well. Um, most of my complaints about it are just like things that I haven't gotten used to. I don't like that I can't use my little six inch cable to hook my phone to this thing. I'm gonna have to find a foot or an eight inch cable because this is fucking annoying. Um, having all of this, I was bringing the tripod in and I got it. And I made spaghetti out of this fucking cable. The other thing that's bothering me that I think is only gonna be like temporary until I get used to holding this thing is these two buttons right here. They actually pull up new menus while you're flying. So on the, um, on the camera that shows on where this upload screen is right now, all of a sudden it's searching for photos that you've taken in the past. And um, I'd rather do that while I'm not flying. <laughs> 